YouTube, what it do? No call. I'm out here with my buddies. With another walk and talk. With another walk and talk. Hope all is well with everybody. The topic I want to discuss is something that is very important that uh, I don't hear coming out of the mouths of people. Very few people are talking about um, the bias, being biased when it comes to the person that you're attracted to. Young ladies, you've been in your careers working hard and uh, you've been dedicated to your job and all that type of stuff. And then you meet him, you meet a young man and it's been a while. Thank you very much. No pull. No pull. So, you know, you've been grinding on your, your career and then, then Prince Charming comes. And it's been a while since somebody hollered at you. You're like, oh, snap, oh, you get excited. No pull. You get excited. You know what I'm saying? You tell your girlfriends, you tell your best friends. They're like, girl, tell me how, what he look like. And you like, he like, he's so fine and all that type of stuff. And then next thing you know, you created this idea of who this guy is in your mind. Got text back and forth a couple times. Of course he know to say the right things. You know what I'm saying? He had to say the right things because you this young professional. He just can't come off all sideways he gonna have to say he got stuff going on and he busy and he this and he that you know what i'm saying so you like i've been praying and i've been wishing and i've been hoping and stuff like that and then you begin to fantasize about what kind of guy you think this is and who or who he is could this be the one that's heaven sent the one i've been waiting for and all that type of stuff, I mean, it's quite natural. We all, we all go through these type of things. You know what I'm saying? But there comes a place where you mature and you have to get past the romanticizing of the people that you meet. And it comes a time where you've, you've, you've had enough of suffering because of being anxious, where you have to get past the, the, the excitement the, that newness, that that fret, that new that new car smell, so to speak. You had to get past those type of things so that you could think clearer. Because that same scenario in reverse, the man, you know, he, he ain't been hollering at no female, nobody been giving him attention. And then and then here he got, let's say she's a, let's say she's a, a strong six. We're gonna use the Kevin Samuels uh, meter because I love Kevin Samuels and <clears throat> he makes a lot of sense. So you're gonna get you an adjustable six. <clears throat> no pull. She fine, you know what I'm saying? And uh, she giving you rhythm, she's smiling, showing you all her teeth. She got, you know, a pretty smile and she looking you in the eyes, all that other good stuff that you like. And then you go home and you start working out all of a sudden. Now you want to do some push-ups. Now you working out. Now you, you know, now you want to go buy a shirt. You know what I'm saying? You ain't been on none of that. But now you like, hey, I'm about to kick it. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's cool. It's a it's a it's a dopamine rush and it's exciting and all that type of stuff. So y'all start chopping it up, doing them hour phone calls, you know what I'm saying? Them texting back and forth. And you begin to romanticize what's up what you think this person who this person is this this is it she it and everybody on their everybody on their best behavior how can she not be on her best behavior when you are buying dinner you're taking her to go see black adam you know what i'm saying you're taking her to go see the the woman king you know it's it's a vibe it's a vibe y'all laughing and enjoying you fitting the bill you don't got no problem. You know what I'm saying? You got money to spare. You know what I'm saying? But you start to romanticize and you're not looking at the signs. You know what I'm saying? You're not asking the right questions. 
And then here you go. You guys get into a relationship. You guys, you guys skip. Y'all skip. Y'all go from one, 10 being it. Y'all go all the way to 10. Having sex, so-called making love. And then after time goes by a few months, now y'all want to get to know each other. Side. Y'all dog, hey, get your dogs. Get your dogs. Are they chained up? No, but they don't see them. You want to get your dogs? See? Just a no. Side. How about no? Your little, little brothers don't have no wisdom. So I got to go a different route. Get over here. You don't want no smoke. So basically, they were some big dogs too, so they would have given my guys a run for their money. But, you know, when you walk out the house, you got to adapt to society. And they, they too ignorant to put their dogs up. They just think that it's all good. When I'm sure those dogs would drag both of them. They look like they were some pit bulls or some, they were big dogs. So, oh well, you can't go that way. So, and that's, that's another key, like romanticizing. I had a, hey, side. I had a vision of going this specific way because I wanted to look into the sun as I made my video to enjoy the sun. But I couldn't go that way. Life wasn't allowing me to. I saw a red flag and I made the necessary adjustments. And that's what we have to do in life. You get excited with a person and stuff like that. As soon as you see a red flag, that, that danger could be in the near future and you're not willing to pay that cost of that specific danger, you have to change the path. You have to change the direction. And, um, and, that's, and that's a perfect example. Let life, let nature teach you. So that's not the direction I was supposed to go. So back to going back to, going back to everybody jumping to 10 and now you're starting to get the person and now everybody's letting their guard down and now you're about to find out who the person really is. Which is backwards. Which is backwards because everybody shame people for taking it, taking it slow. Everybody's shaming because everybody in such a rush. This society has taught us to be in a rush, to be impatient. Hey, what's up, brother? Good, sir. How you doing? Good, thank you. Everybody's over uh, sexualized. You know what I'm saying? They got these chemicals in our food. Everybody is eating whatever they want to eat and moving how they want to move. So it's got people vibration off. And, and that's the masses. Not everybody's like that because you got people who who living and seeking and, uh, and vibrating under high levels of wisdom that the Most High is protecting. You definitely got those and all praises to the Most High for that. But bottom line is, this is for everybody. Everybody, We, we, we had to come from some level of education. And what I'm speaking on is, is romanticizing a person. We have, to, we have to slow that down. It's okay to have hope and dream but let's, let's, we, how many mistakes do we have to make before we start thinking in a different way so that we can get better results? Stop. Sit. So that we can get better results, we're gonna have to do something different. And one, uh, uh, sit. Good sit. Let's go. One of the things that we have to do different is Dealing with the anxiety of meeting beautiful, attractive people. Or, or, or when you're being single, the anxiety that comes with you being single. Learn to love yourself. The more you love yourself, the more you invest in yourself, the less you're going to allow just anybody in it to interrupt that frequency, that vibration. All the good health that you put in to... Uh, healing yourself and forgiving yourself and building yourself back up. You're not going to just let anybody back into your world to tear that down. Only a fool will. That's why they, that, that's why they had those nursery rhymes where it's like 
you know, who builds your house, uh, what did it say, the huff and puff and blow your house down? You want to build your house on, on solid ground. You want to build your house on a, on a solid foundation. And that foundation could be spiritually, physically. Let's say you might have been suffering from a sickness. And, and it, the food caused your sickness. Now you, now you no longer eat certain foods. But now that you met somebody and, they, and they're, they're not as disciplined as you are in your diet. So you're surrounding yourself around with people who is not as on point with their diet. And now you begin to compromise because you want to experience love. And that's not what you want to do. You don't want to compromise so that you can experience love. Don't pull. You don't want to compromise so that just because you want to experience love and have companionship, you just have to use wisdom and the and the most high, if it's his will for you in your life to receive companionship, you will receive the proper and perfect companionship. But you're gonna to have to walk by faith. And you're gonna to have to probably go through several seasons. Several seasons and for levels, different levels of development. And if you make the time and you have faith and go through those different levels of development, you're just not gonna let just anybody in your life. You're just not gonna let anybody in your life. Now, you're gonna have your, your guard up. And there's, there's a scripture that talks about having your guard up. It says, guard your heart for it's the wellspring of life. You know what I'm saying? So, it's important that you guard your heart, which is your mind, and just don't let anybody come in and infiltrate it. That is not congruent or in line with what you believe what you understand and what you're working for. So with that, just wanna leave that for you guys to think about. I'll highlight you later on, peace.